second video and today we're gonna be dealing with the rust as well let's go to Yero car parts and buy some materials <music> so the shopping has finished actually been pretty cheap because uh, I bought all this for under 100 pound it was like 98 97 pounds something like that I bought these uh, aluminium mesh sheets they're supposed to be stainless steel and stuff like that so I will patch a small holes with this with this we're gonna put it in between the metals and use a fiberglass uh, fiberglass kit and so it's gonna make it solid afterwards you're gonna obviously put seals and whatnot and prime it and yeah I got rust primer gray color that's for interior work um, as a zinc primer it's good to also bond with the holes and stuff seen other people use it so I'm gonna give it a go and I bought one of these rust beaters you know in the last video I made the uh, I put the green stuff that gel in just one hole what they told me in Halfords is that you're supposed to put that gel first then it goes black my one did not go black and then you paint it because it got gets solid so once we go back to the van we're gonna check it out and hopefully it's black and solid so I can repaint it but I can, this, this one is a spray one so I can spray it because I don't know if you noticed it on the van on the sides and like in little bends there's a little bit of rust that uh, I don't really want to start scratching the paintwork off because the paintwork isn't that damaged, it's just starting to corrode. So hopefully avoid all that and we can just get rid of it differently. I also, just because he said it was 13 pound, as the same gel, just bigger bucket. So I will definitely have enough for the hole inside of the van. Also, where the front wheel arch was, uh, there was an old, uh, old seal. They use a special seal and I spoke to my friend Kos the guy who we went to see yesterday for the tools he told me to use tiger seal that's what they use in between the wheel arches so i will be putting that in as well yeah i bought these ones for a grinder hopefully they're gonna work I'm not too sure there's different heads and then i went back to the first ever uh, chemical as i was actually going to use it's karst kurst or whatever it's called and it transforms rust into stable surface in 15 minutes so we will go try this one out as well and see how it works all right see you in a second So we're back at the van now and uh, in the last video I couldn't get the seat of the floor right because it was connected to the handbrake so as I was getting in from the van today after buying all this um, if I move the seat forwards I think I have a good angle and I can take the bolts off from the side so I will give that a try and then I can crack on with the area down there and yeah let's go Welcome back, it's the next day and we already purchased some steel sheets, some uh, tools that we need for welding and I uh, found out a few of the problems we have in the passenger seat side. Today I'm going to be associated with my dad, he's going to be helping me out today and um, this is what we found out. So we will be cutting out all this and putting an L shape there and different, we're going to work and find out what we're gonna do as we go but this is all the rust all here there's holes everywhere but let's see what my dad thinks about what we should do dad what you what you think what you think about this whole van idea cutting everything out and welding the new van <laughs>
my dad just cut out the step and then uh, I'm gonna prepare the new step from the new metal machine. Thank you.